bed, she also told me it's a way of her showing her love to the team. Now, for the longest time, she's seen her grow and flourish to be the seasoned player that she is today. And one day, she'll look back and see what kind of legacy she's left. In is having a word with her teammates, led by the reinforcement as well. Oli Okaro in the field. Of the country, Dina Wong also in attendance. Standing tall in the face of adversity, ladies and gentlemen, Oli Okaro leading the charge for Akari said we did a reverse sweep last Tuesday. Why not one more time to end this week, right? Prior to this game, I asked what her secret to success has been throughout her volleyball career, and she answered staying hungry. Hungry to avenge defeat in times of loss and hungry to reach even greater heights when I'm already on top. And Oli is certainly leading the Akari squad by example as I hear her on the sidelines rallying her girls to just own their roles and execute as they attempt to snatch this game away. But they and Oli Akaro, who had a phenomenal performance, shared with me that the big turning point in that game was when they huddled up, settled down, and drilled in their heads that they were literally giving the game away with their errors. In all these words, the moment we were fed up with being beat by a team that was capitalizing on our mistakes, that's when I felt the real Akari team really step up. However, today, Coach Taka does not want to depend on their mid-game switch-ups and says that they cannot let their feet off the gas from start to finish to be able to pull away. Sabi nga ni Ivy Laxina, hindi natutulog yan si Coach, lalong na-motivate raw siya. When they are inside the court, alam nila yung gagawin. They train every... Sustainability, right? Obviously, we saw today possibly cheering for the Gretchen Sultones, former Petrogas Angel. Meted in the third set alongside said Domingo. And you cannot forget. Libero. So we're all set to begin this final match of your number two for them to get themselves going. I mean, I have been looking for... It's been the limitation of Erika Stanton. A fourth set with Coach Zaka and the help. You know the fans of PLDT really... Four-point lead. The Mall of Age Arena from the second technical timeout. Coach Sherwin Menezes on placement. No, I feel you cannot blame. That one, a point for PLDT. Paxienza blockers, bomba yan. Maba will uh, attempt to swipe that. You know, focus on one movement at a time. Rejection right before it, which hurt them, ultimately cost them that third. We have the Akari Chargers looking. Uh, back and forth action here. It was a Chargers getting for PVL reinforced conference. Now we talk number four. Erica Stanton has had a day one. Yeah, welcome to the late. Night PVL show. Said Domingo coming alive in the third set. Set because PLDT just meant. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Joffer Educado. And now the starters. First, by Cool Smashers. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number seven, interim team captain. Calling on our Akari Chargers. Let's meet with their guest player who wears jersey. Ah, uh, syempre lagi talaga is mag-contribute para sa team. Pag nasa harap ako, kanina maganda rin. Number one blocking team din yung team nila. So maganda rin yung blocking nila. So hindi agad-agad nakapuntos. Sa pagsalikod ako, iniisip ko lang. Papasa ako ng maayos, nidepensa ako para sa mga teammates ko na nasa harap. So ayoko lang din talaga na magpabagsak ng bola basta-basta sa likod. Parang masyado kong ina-enjoy yung, yung um, role ko sa likod. <laughs> uh, for Erica, uh, first final appearance for you as well. Uh, just, you know, how blessed are you, to, you know, to see how far you've grown and, you know, with the team, you know, especially since you came off your first opening day with a loss. Yeah, um, I think I've grown a lot as a player and just with this team, I'd say. Um, I think we found our group after that first game um, and we were just able to figure out how to work together. And I think what makes Creamline special is 
you know, like we're not focused on one person, we're not just one person offensive heavy. Um, Kylie does a great job of distributing the ball, so I think that all of our hitters are threats and that's something that 